Daz Dillinger talks about Tupac inspiring him to name himself Daz Dillinger as well as corrupt, corrupt young Gotti. Also, Daz Dillinger talks about how much him and Snoop Dogg were paid when they signed to death row. You won't believe it. Daz also talks about his biggest check under death row, Paw Patrol, Nate Dogg, and a whole lot more. Let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother. And so, like I said, once again, when you talk about um when you talk about Snoop Straight yourself game. and you, how would you say? Straight game. Straight game. <laughs> 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 ain't that, ain't that, no. But um when you talk about Snoop yourself, corrupt, Nate, Warren, yeah. and 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 rest in peace, rest in peace, Nate Dog. Um yeah. give me some give me some of your fondest memories, man, of working with Nate, you know. Cause Nate, like I said, I, I haven't heard anybody. Nate had a simple way of doing what he did, but yet so effective. One thing about Nate, he gonna bop like this, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, he got that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause man, I got so many songs with Nate. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like I said before, publishing, man. You know, my daughter plays piano classically. Is that right? Her name is Dasmin Arnold. She got. Music albums out right now. She make an album a week. You know what I'm saying? But she gonna run all my music. You know what I'm saying? Because she, you know what I'm saying. So you got. So you got a. Um. Do you got a trust? I got everything. But hey, you ain't doing this shit. I'm looking at everybody else shit. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Hey, right. Because he looks. I trust in the Lord. Okay. Yes, sir. Most yes, definitely. sir. No. The reason why I asked that, Dad. The reason why I asked that is this: because a lot Michael Jackson, Prince. When we talk about music and protecting the legacy and the legacy that you, the legendary legacy that you uh, accomplished, when you talk about that, man, a lot of us don't have wills. We don't have life insurance. We don't have a trust to be able to, and I'm talking about a revocable or irrevocable trust to, like you say, because your daughter's going to do that and you set that up for her and so that her kids can eat off of. And my music. daughters. Yeah, absolutely. Your daughters. daughter, your daughters, right? Yeah, your daughters and their daughters. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, you know can you speak on that? So you got all of that set up. You straight? Oh uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I got life insurance and all that other stuff, but I have my own life insurance, my own money. You know, what I'm saying? got your own money, right? Like right. I said before, you know, like uh, accountants and shit back in the days to say you need to put some for retirement. You know what my retirement is? Motherfucking ass cap and BMI. That shit don't stop. Yeah, it don't. That shit. But you, but you, but you on the, but you on another level though. So for yeah, yeah for the average guy, for the average cat, he might have had you know he might have worked on one or two songs. You know what I mean, Dad? And seeing yeah. some money, but the kind of money that you would see is I don't brag about that though. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? You know I could be doing all that shit, right? But it's like you know. I just kick back, I'm humble, you know what I'm saying? And just try to help everybody that need help, who want help, you know what I'm saying? And hey, that's the type of nigga I am. That's why they call me that nigga dad. Yeah, we said that's why they call you what? That nigga dad. That's that nigga I'm dad. Saying. Yeah. Right, right, right. Two so, um, he said, y'all pick an outlaw man, pick a thing. You know, he told corrupt, you're gonna be young guy. He said, what you gonna be? I just, Popped in my head, I'm Daz Dillinger, nigga. I rob motherfuckers. You know, I usually rob motherfuckers, you know. I was about to get down, still do rob, slap a motherfucker with the pit, all that type of shit. I was the enforcer of the dog pound, me and Nate dog. Right, right. I heard about that. Don't I heard about that. And knock niggas the fuck out, keep that shit pushing, you know what I'm saying? Dog pound gang, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So you know so let's go back, let's go back to the to the beginning. When, 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 was you ever back in working in the, uh, in the VIP with Snoop? Cause I think they talked about like they had a studio in the VIP records. Was you, yeah. was you, was you back there at that time too? I was, my name was DJ Young Jedi. I used to DJ. I'm a DJ, you know what I'm saying? At heart. Right. So I, and I stole a lot of shit from Calvin. Shout out to the Calvin VIP. I used to say, you know, let me take the trash out and have two turntables in the mixture in the motherfucking box, throwing it in the trash. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's how I got my start, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know what I'm saying, going to there, and, you know, Calvin had the SP-1200, and, you know, we made a lot of mixtapes in the back, you know what I'm saying? And shit, that was just classic moment. That was a classic moment. Wow, that, that, that was classic, man. That was one of the first places that I visited when I came to Cal, when I moved out here to California, right? Was yeah. there now. It was just, for me, it was legendary. So like, I imagine what it was like for you, you know what I mean? And, and doing all of those things. But like I said, so what was it like um, um, working with uh, with Gip? You know, Gip from the Goody Mob. Big oh. Gip, that's my brother right there, Big Gip, man. You know, we talk every day, Cool Joe, you know, the whole Goody Mob, you know what I'm saying? Right. From Big Boy to Ray to Sleepy, that's who I, my family down in Atlanta is, you know what I'm saying? So you you down in Atlanta, you you by coastal, you out here, and you, you in uh in California and in Atlanta? I'm in California, Atlanta, I'm anywhere, shit, anywhere I want to be. You know absolutely, what I'm absolutely. I, I I feel you. So hold on, I, yeah, you, you had me laughing the other night. So they did the verses, and you went. I on. wish. <laughs> oh shit! Oh Lord, they did the verses right, and and you was like you were saying how you felt about certain artists. Man, come on, run me through that dance. Well, what did you think about? I didn't. You know what? I didn't even know that they had a trash. Verse. They trash. Trash. So, oh, so, no. they fucked the R&B world up with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like they just like they had one big gang meeting and shit. Everybody just couldn't control their motherfucking self. Wow. no OBs in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, hey, they was running out of breath. Niggas was on. Everybody was fucked up on that stage. And you know, Ray J had the daycare center going on. <laughs> oh yeah, because he had his baby up there with him, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So who you think who you think was the best though? I like Mario. Okay, okay, uh, uh, okay, Mario. Right. Uh, 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 what is that? Uh, you could not do that. that him. Oh uh, yeah, you know, shit. Neo wrote that motherfucker. Scott Storch did the beat. Uh, 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 let me love you. Yeah. Yeah. He, oh, is that right? I ain't know. I ain't know Neo. Neo bad. Yeah, he can write that. When Neo song. first got started, he wrote that motherfucker. Wow. Wow. That was, that was Neo's first pen. That was his first pen? His so, first hey, piece hey, of real money. So, right, right. Question, though, since you went there, you went there. Daz, what was your first big check when you know, y'all, I've arrived? Was it from a royalty check or was it from when you first signed the death row? What was, like, your first check when you knew? Yeah, when we yo, first signed the death row, we signed the death row for $5,000. $5,000? Snoop got 10000 Come on, Dad. You got five thousand dollars, and then we had to go on tour with the Ghetto Boys. So that means our rent was—I had to pay thirty-five hundred. So I was left with fifteen hundred, with almost five hundred at the end of the day. And great getting on the road, going to Chicago, our first show with the Ghetto Boys. Hold on, hold on, Dad. Hold on, Dad. So what was out? What was out with Chronic? Was the out. Chronic was out. Okay. So chronic five thousand dollars. They gave Snoop ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. RBX didn't sign. See, RBX was the, RBX was Ice Kid. Okay. He didn't sign. He went to school with Shug. He know you know all that shit. He didn't sign. Was he and he and that's why you never seen RBX after that shit because he went to Dr. Dre when they left. Okay, right, right. Yeah, I remember yeah. Dr. Dre down at um. He sued RBX's first cousin. All y'all first. Okay, okay. I, I was wondering why RBX be be all he be up on up on up on the set all the time. So yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. And, and you know he was rhyming doing that. You know, X killing that shit when we was young. Yeah, yeah. I, I like his voice though. I like his voice on some of the records that I heard though. So yo, so yeah, so five thousand dollars. So you, that wasn't your first big check. That was the first time you got paid. That was the first time. I, yeah, we got yeah we got paid. I'm talking about the first check when you was like yo. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm all right my, now. My first check, I think, when I did retaliation and get back. Okay. Because they okay. gave me like two million dollars. Is that right? Yeah. Death row? Death row. Wow. Because everybody else was gone now. So with that being said, two million dollars, right? Is that because everybody was gone? Because you didn't get that much for, for, for dog pound, right? See what you fail to realize on the dog pound, we just made that up. Okay. We, we never had a contract with Death Row under the ah, dog. Ah, see, that's what that, that's what that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah, because I don't sign none of that nigga Daz and corrupted Kingpin. If you look at it right now, there is no contract 
that says the dog pound. Okay. Now it is because it's a business for us, trademarks and, and all that stuff. I got a question too. When you look at Paw Patrol, right? Right. And you look at that logo with the paw on there, what does that remind you of? Yeah, Check it kind of yeah, yeah, it kind of reminds you. Yeah. Motherfucker stole my shit. <laughs> my shit came out 1993. Right, that shit right. came out like 2011. You motherfuckers owe me some money, and I'm coming after you. But I had a bunch of kids like, we're going to kill you. Right. <laughs> I'm going to the I had to grab one of my rock ones. Oh. Right, right, right. No, you, <laughs> you, you funny, Dad. You be, Dad, you be wilding well, like out. Like I said before, they did. They stole my paw. If y'all look at that shit, put them together, what right. motherfucker you know got three paws? True. True. How come you ain't, how come you ain't trademarking? I, I did trademark. Oh, you did? I did, you know what I'm saying? Before and it's or after? Album Before or after? Before I had to fight for that shit because everybody was trying to steal the shit. Should okay. not. Wow. Mom, everybody was trying to just steal the shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow, wow. Yeah, that's 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 amazing right there, man. Yeah. I, I never, I I never thought about like that. like in debate because they like so many motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? The dog pound, you can't, you know, it's all kind of shit, man. I had to fight for this shit, man. That's what you call fighting for your music. Daz Dillinger in the building, uh, a legendary hip hop producer, uh, OG to the game, Platinum Plus. Uh, yeah, you know who he is. Your boy Delray, straight game.